Good day. In this short video, we will discuss the recording of a transaction where a business using the perpetual inventory system returns inventory previously purchased on credit. The subsidiary journal where all returns of inventory previously purchased on credit is recorded is the purchases returns journal. Let's have a look at an example. Africa Traders is a registered VAT vendor and uses the perpetual inventory system. Africa Traders buys and sells furniture and equipment to customers. On 20 January 2025, the following items were returned to RG wholesalers because the items were damaged and a credit note number 5859 was received. RG wholesalers is a registered VAT vendor. Two coffee tables that were purchased on account for a total amount of 15,500 Rand and were purchased for a purpose of being traded is now returned. We are required to record the transaction provided in the applicable subsidiary journal of Africa Traders. The first step is to identify the affected accounts. The first affected account is trade payables control since the inventory previously purchased on credit is now returned and therefore the supplier or in other words the creditor will provide the business with a refund that will reduce the amount the business owes to them. The second affected account is inventory. The inventory account is used when a business uses the perpetual inventory system since the business records all inventory movements directly in the inventory account. The third affected account is VAT input. Since the business recorded the VAT on the original purchase transaction in the VAT input account and because of the return of the inventory, the business will no longer be able to claim the VAT on the original purchase transaction back from the South African Revenue Services. In the Purchases Returns Journal, the full amount owed by the business to the supplier, or in other words the creditor, is recorded in the Trade Payables Control column. The amount owed to the supplier was originally recorded as inclusive of VAT, and therefore the refund will also be recorded inclusive of VAT to reduce the total amount owed on the transaction to zero. Let's start recording the transaction in the Purchases Returns Journal. In the Document column, we enter the credit note number 5859. The date of the transaction in the Day column is entered as the 20th. The supplier's details in the Details column is RG Wholesalers since the inventory was returned to them. And in the Trade Payables Control column, the amount of 15,500. In the inventory column, we will record the amount exclusive of VAT. The total amount of the transaction was 15,500 Rand. To calculate the VAT exclusive amount, you take the 15,500 Rand divided by 115 multiplied by 100. Therefore, the amount to be recorded in the inventory column is 13,478 Rand and 26 cents. If we now go back to our Purchases Returns Journal, we record the 13,478 Rand and 26 cents in the inventory column. To calculate the amount that should be recorded in the VAT input column, we take the 15,500 Rand divided by 115 multiplied by 15. Therefore, the amount to be recorded in the VAT input column is 2,021 Rand 74 cents. If we now go back to our Purchases Returns Journal, we record the 2,021 Rand and 74 cents in the VAT input column. After watching the short video, you should now be able to record the return of inventory previously purchased on credit by a business making use of the perpetual inventory system. Thank you for watching.